Hello everyone. Today we'll start chapter 2, lesson 2.1, problem solving, organized data. And our essential question is how can you use the strategy make a table to organize data and solve problems. So today we will have a table like this and we will draw another table we will call it frequency table it has numbers not these marks or we call it tally marks okay so let's unlock the problem the students in Alicia's class voted for their favorite yogurt flavor they organized the data in this tally table how many more students choose chocolate than strawberry okay so here another way to show that data is in a frequency table so a frequency table uses numbers to record data so this table we call it tally table and we need to draw or we need to fill a table called frequency table which has instead of these tally marks it has numbers okay so here we read the problem so what do i need to find if you go back to the question we have here the question how many more students choose chocolate than strawberry so we can here fill these blanks how many more students choose chocolate than strawberry yogurt as their favorite okay here what information do i need to use here i need to use the data about favorite what in the tele table here the data is about the favorite yogurt flavor so it's the data about favorite yogurt okay so here how will i use the information okay so here he is comparing students who choose chocolate and the students who choose strawberry and comparing means finding the difference so finding the difference means plus or minus it means minus finding the difference it means minus so here first i'll count there we will count these marks we call these marks tally marks we will count the tally marks then i will put the numbers in a frequency table and compare the number of students who choose chocolate to the number of students who choose strawberry okay so first we will count the tally marks then we will put the numbers in the frequency table and compare the number of students who choose chocolate to students who choose strawberry means we will find the difference between them it means we will subtract them okay so let's see how we count these tally marks okay so counting by tallies is like this okay so one two three four the fifth one we make it like this so this all means five if we continue six seven eight nine huh, ten so the fifth will make it like this 11 12 13 14 15 like this okay so if we want to count these it will be one two three four and the fifth one like this so five six seven so we have seven for vanilla so we can go down here and for vanilla it will be seven then after vanilla we have it chocolate so let's write it and then strawberry 
Okay, let's see for chocolate how many. Okay, we'll count the same. We know that these five, so one, two, three, four, five. These are five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so for chocolate, it's eight. Then for strawberry, they are one, two, three, four. So for strawberry, it's four. Okay, let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, here he says, count the tally marks. We count them. Record what for vanilla? For vanilla, we record seven. Write the other flavors and record the number of tally marks. We wrote a chocolate and strawberry and we count it. We have eight and four. To compare the number of students who chose strawberry and the number of students who chose chocolate, we will subtract. So, here for chocolate, we have eight students choose chocolate and four students choose strawberry. So, we'll subtract eight minus four equals four. So, four more students choose chocolate as their favorite flavor. Okay, let's try another problem. Two classes in Carter's school grow bean plants for a science project. The heights of the plants after six weeks are shown in the tally table. The plants were measured to the nearest inch. How many fewer bean plants were nine inches tall than seven inches and eight inches combined? Okay, so let's read the question again. How many fewer bean plants were nine inches tall than seven inches and eight inches combined? Okay, so here we will compare the nine inches to the seven inches and eight inches combined together. Okay. So here, what do I need to find? What is the question here? Okay, it is from the problem. How many fewer bean plants were 9 inches tall than 7 inches and 8 inches combined? Okay, here, what information do I need to use? Here, what I will use is the data in the tally table about bean plant height. I'll use this table about bean plant heights to solve the problem. So, how will I use the information? Okay, okay, so this problem is a little more complex because of the question. He asks about how many fewer bean plants were 9 inches then the 7 inches and 8 inches combined. So, first, I will count the tally marks and put the data in the frequency table, like we did in the past problem. Then I will add the number of 7 inch and 8 inch plants and compare the sum to the number of 9 inch Plants. It means I should add the number of 7 inches and 8 inches plants and the answer I'll compare it to the 9 inches plants. Okay, so let's do it step by step. First, we will count the tally marks and put them in the frequency table. So, the title of the table it's being plant heights okay this is the title of the table then we have here height in inches and here instead of tally it will be number okay so Let's count these. Okay, so for the seven inch, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. 
6, 7, 8, 9. So these are 9. For the 8 inch, we have these are 5, 6, 7, 8. So for the 8 inches, they are 8. Okay, for the 9 inches, for the 9 inches, these are 5 and 5, 10, 11, 12. So the 9 inches are 12. For the 10, these are 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So for the 10 inches, they are 9. Okay, so what we will do now, we will add the number of 7 inches and the 8 inches and compare the answer to the 9 inches plants. Okay, so first let's see the 7 inches and the 8 inches combined okay so we will have 9 plus 8 so 9 plus 8 which is equal to 17 okay then we will compare the 17 to the 9 inch plants which they have 12 so then we will subtract so we will subtract 17 minus the 12 so 17 minus 12 will have five fewer plants okay here suppose the number of three inch plants was half the number of 8 inch plants how many 3 inch bean plants were there okay so again how many 8 inch plants we have 8 8 inch plants okay so half of them the 3 inches are half of these 8 so half of the 8 is 4 so they are four, three inch plants. Okay, so the eight inch plants, these are eight. So the three inch plants are half of the number, half of the eight, half of the eight is four. Okay, so now for share and show. Okay, here use the show length table for one to three. So number one, the students in three third grade classes recorded the length of their shoes to the nearest centimeter. The data are in the tally table. How many more shoes? So how many more shoes were 18 or 22 centimeters long combined means we will add them together then 20 centimeters long so we'll compare them to the 20 centimeters long okay first count the tally marks and record the data in a frequency table so let's fill the table first okay so here for the 18 centimeters. For boys, we have five, six. We have six for boys. And for girls, we have one, two, three, four. For the 19 centimeters, we have only five. So there's five. Remember, guys, this is one, two, three, four, five. So when you see this means five. So five and the girls are one, two, three, four okay for the 20 centimeters we have here five six seven eight and for the girls five six seven eight nine for the 21 centimeters for the boys we have five six seven 
and for the girls we have five okay for the 22 centimeters we have five six seven eight nine for the boys and five six seven for the girls so we filled the table so here look at the question again we need the 18 and 22 centimeters combined so we need to add the 18 and 22 centimeters combined so let's see how many in the 18 and how many in the 22 and we add them together so here for the 18 we have six boys let's use another color we have six boys and four girls so six plus four these are the boys and girls for the 18 centimeters here the boys and girls for the 22 we have 9 and 7 so plus 9 plus 7 so these are all the students who has 18 centimeters or 22 centimeters okay so let's add all of this 6 plus 4 is 10 10 plus 9 is 19 19 plus 7 is 26 okay so to find the number of shoes that were 20 centimeters long so we need to compare these together so these together they are 26 we need to compare them with the 20 centimeters so let's use another highlighter this is the 20 centimeters which is they are 8 and 9 so we should add 8 and 9 to know how many students with 20 centimeters length okay so 8 plus 9 is 17 so now we should compare the 26 to the 17 okay so to find the difference between the shoes that were 18 or 22 centimeters long and the shoe that were 20 centimeters long subtract the sum so here we'll subtract the 26 minus the 17 okay so 26 minus 17 is 9 so nine more shoes were 18 or 22 centimeters long than 20 centimeters long Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed this lesson. Bye.